Vegas Golden Knights head coach Bruce Cassidy with me. This is an exciting time of year when the game hockey is about to be back and VGK fans are ready to get out of the heat too and uh, back at the rink. You know, for a head coach, what is this early uh, September period like? Uh, you know, you're putting the final touches on your preparation for training camp, exhibition season. Um, you know, the, the first year players are coming in early. They're going to LA to play. So we'll go watch some of those kids, see how they do against their peers, so to speak. And usually if they do well there, that they measure up better for our camp. But that's what we're doing now, taking stock of everyone's health. We had a number of surgeries last year as well documented. So seeing how the guys have recovered. So taking some time with each player to see how he's doing. So I'm just catching up a little bit, but uh, we'll be ready to go in two weeks. Um, looking forward to it. Last one for you, Coach. I know there's still some time before things kick off. You've got a lot of preparations to do, and there's a lot of turnover with this team through the offseason. But is there anything in particular you're most excited to see once the puck meets ice? Well, the health of the players, as I said, we had nine surgeries and then two after the season. So just to see them feeling good about themselves and their bodies back, giving them a chance to play at the, the highest level. So we've got Hannafin, who'll be here from the start. Uh, Hurdle will be here from the start, so it'll be great. Two veteran guys that are great players in the league. They'll they'll get a, you know, be with us from training camp on. I think losing some players is tough, but it gives opportunity for other people, not not just to play, but other people to step up and fill the leadership void. Like Mar, you know, Martinez was a leader. Marcia so was a leader. Carrier was a leader. Stevie in his own way. So other guys now get an opportunity maybe to spread their wings. So we're we'll, we'll looking forward to see you know who who grabs the the rope in that in those situations. Well, it's a chill day of golf before things really start ramping up with the hockey season right around the corner. How are you feeling? Good. Yeah, it's good. We're, uh, you know, everyone's working hard in the gym and getting ready for camp, and uh, we've been skating a lot, so it's good. We're, uh, we're all anxious for hockey season and looking forward to it. I imagine there's got to be a lot different of a vibe in the building between one year ago to today, coming off the cup and then coming off an early playoff exit. Could you explain that difference of the feeling in the in the, in the building. Yeah, um, obviously you don't like the long summers, right? You know, you want your summer to be short. That means you had a pretty good playoff run. Um, so I think everyone's really excited to get back and um, get the season rolling and, and um, you know, hopefully uh, have a good, have a great regular season and leading into a good playoff run. So I think everyone's uh, real excited. We got Vegas Golden Knight Tomas Hurdle with me at the VGK Golf Classic, raising money for the VGK Foundation to help out the Valley. Vegas Golden Knight Brenda Brisson with me here at the VGK Golf Classic, raising money for the VGK Foundation, helping out the community just a little over a month away from the season opener. Preseason's about to be here. And how exciting is this time of year? Yeah, I know. It's, it's definitely exciting. You know, I, I think it's a little like calm before the storm. So two weeks probably until camp starts, you know, just skating, working out, being around the guys, uh, getting back into it before, uh, you know, we wrap it up, ramp it up for camp in preseason and, uh, you know, get get the season started. So it's it's been good. Uh, today was my first day back, and it was awesome. We're well, wrapping this up. You know, last year was a big one for you. Got your first NHL yeah. start mm -hmm. in the book, first NHL score in the book. You did it for your family. But you know, this coming season, it seems like you know that playing time should be ramping up as you're getting that experience under your belt. You know, um, not how excited are you, but you know, what is your expectations for this coming season? Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, I'm excited for sure. Uh, you know, I feel like I had a really good off season. Uh, it was a little longer than you know we would like like mm -hmm. it to be, but uh, you know a lot of good comes from that too. You know a lot of time to uh, you know rest and, and reset and uh, really work on your skill, work on your game. So uh, you know this is the best I've ever felt going into camp, and uh, you know I, I know I'm gonna have a good camp and you know hopefully start the season off strong. Hey, what is the vibe in the building right now? Only a month away from the puck hitting the ice, coming off that early playoff exit. I think everybody excited. You know, obviously for. A lot of guys, you know, they wanna we wanna play a little, way longer than we did last year, and mm -hmm. it was quite a long summer. But all excitement, you know, for next season, especially for me, it's kind of still everything is new, you know. Like you say, I just play five regular season games plus playoffs, mm -hmm. so I'm really exciting and in play Vegas and in the team of Arena, which is I think most fun arena to play right now, and hopefully we'll have great start, great season. Braden McNabb here at the VGK Golf Classic. Well, I imagine the vibe in the building right now is a lot different between a year ago to this off season, coming off the cup versus coming off an early playoff exit. You know, what is it like in the building right now for the Golden Knights? Yeah, um, yeah, I think you said it right. Uh, I think, you know, we're gonna have a little chip on our shoulder going into this year, uh, some new new faces, but, um, you know, I think we're gonna be a good team and, uh, and, you know, I think a lot of people probably doubt in us and uh, that's a good thing. And hopefully we can catch a lot of teams by surprise. You know, a lot of turnover this offseason with the team, and it's almost like the team is younger. You know, what do you see the big difference between this year's team uh, between you know a year ago? 
Yeah, obviously we lost, you know, lost some guys that's been around for a while and, you know, it sucks. It's part of the hockey, part of the business. We all understand that. Uh, good opportunity for for younger guys and new guys coming in. So, uh, you know, it, it'll be good to see see them step up and uh, inherit a new role and uh, it, sh it should be fun. Well, it's another year of Vegas Golden Knight. Alex Petrangelo helping to raise money for the VGK Foundation. Hey, only a month out from hitting the rink again. That Avalanche game is going to be here before we know it. And just to explain how excited you are for another season with the Golden Knights. You know what? Uh, it goes by quick. And um, once everybody kind of starts getting back into town like we are now, I think everybody's here. Maybe a couple guys aren't here quite yet. You get that itch to get back on the ice with the guys and get the group together, get the energy and the camaraderie back up. So um, we had a couple weeks here to uh, enjoy our time together before the, the real thing starts. Well, you know, you're no stranger to playing seasons of NHL hockey. I mean, you've been around for a while. You said 17 seasons. You've you had so many accomplishments along the way. You know, since you've had so many seasons under the belt, you know, for a veteran like yourself, what is the mentality this time of year uh, before things get going with rookie camp and all that good stuff? Uh, just get everything ready. Get everything right. I mean, um, you know, for me, it's just feeling like you're you're at your best going to training camp. I mean. There's always a uh, balance of maybe trying to do too much to get ready for the season and trying to get some rest before it all kicks off. But um, you know, look, we're all excited to get back out there. Like I said, when you get back with the guys, everybody wants to be on the ice every day and, and kind of get that uh, that fun back. So um, the older you get, the more you enjoy it. Vegas Golden Knight, Nick Haig with me here at the VGK Golf Classic, giving back to the VGK Foundation. Well, anticipations building for the season is right around the corner, just a month away almost. So you know, what is the vibe like in the building over there? Yeah, it's starting to, uh, I mean, more and more guys rolling in town now, and yeah. uh, you know, we've been having some good skates, and uh, we're we're itching to itching to get back. It's, uh, you know, you always kind of get that feeling, especially when the previous year doesn't go like we uh, like we wanted it to. It's it feels like the longest summer ever, and we're uh, definitely kind of you know chomping at it to get back here. And you mentioned that finish, right? The fact that you had that early playoff exit compared to a cup win just a year ago. You know, what is what is the feeling like in the offseason for a player? How is it different one year ago as a Stanley Cup champion to now having to see Florida win it? Yeah, I mean, winning's uh, it's addicting. Um, it's, you know, we had so much fun, uh, you know, the year we won and uh, all kind of realized a childhood dream come true. And, uh, that's a feeling that, you know, nice to have once, but now, you, you know, you keep chasing it and uh, it almost almost makes it even more important, right? Because you, now you know what it feels like and you want to kind of be back there. Exactly. Well, yeah. uh, one more for you, Nick. So there's been a lot of turnover this offseason and there's, it's going to be a new look Vegas Golden Knights team. What are you most excited uh, to see with this roster once it hits the ice? Yeah, I think we're going to have a good team. Um, you know, like, like I said, you know, every year we... You know, we come back. Everyone's all excited to be here and you know get back playing again. And uh, I don't think it's any different this year. If anything, it's you know even more exciting. We're uh, you know, like I said, we're you know coming off a season where you know we expect a lot more from ourselves, and uh, that normally bodes well for us. So, I mean, the year we missed the playoffs, we came back and won it the next year. So, um, I think that's just kind of the way our team uh, mindset's wired, and uh, and we're just all excited to get back and playing and. Uh, and get the ball rolling here. Former Vegas Golden Knight and original misfit Derek England with me. Well, turning to the rink, I mean, only a month or so out until, you know, a puck meets ice and the Avalanche game starts the season. A lot of turnover uh, this offseason for the Golden Knights. What are you excited to see about this year's team? Yeah, just uh, get back out there. You know, it's always, uh, you know, it's been a long summer, a uh, lot of heat. Uh, it's nice to get in the rinks and, and out of that. But, uh, the guys that they brought in, I think, are going to do a good job. Compliment the guys that we, uh, you know, left uh, with free agency and stuff like that. So it's, uh, I'm excited to see what the team can do. Uh, they're going to be uh, competitive. The decor hasn't changed. Uh, you know, Aiden Hill's uh, solidifying himself uh, in this league, and uh, the new guys they brought, Olfson, and uh, you know, kind of probably a guy that uh, maybe takes a uh, Marchie spot there. So. I'm just excited to see how the team comes out and uh, hopefully we can stay healthy for the season and, and make a run again.